All right, Brothers Craft Brewing in the house. So I'm gonna check in here. Beer Garden is to benefit Shenandoah Valley Bicycle Coalition and they're great causes. You know, it's been 40 years. Uh, the Bike Coalition absorbed the uh, local road club and it added mountain biking and now it's a little bit of everything. But, the, you know, someone, thank you. Uh, someone that can tell you a little bit more about that uh, including St. Frost's school, a lot of the drill building projects and all that other stuff is Kyle Lawrence, our executive director. Um, so, your 40 second pitch on why people should join. The Bike Coalition is focused on making biking better for everyone. Greenways, trails, bike lanes, everything that makes biking safer, friendlier, more fun, and easier for people to get out. So, you should come out for a ride. Be part of the movement. It's great. Bikes are fun. We know that. Come yeah. On. And you, we do really cool stuff. That's right. You know, I think um, a big part of the cycling scene here, or something that really makes it enjoyable, aside from you know having great places to ride, is having great events. Um, a lot of ways that the community can really rally around and celebrate a lot of our achievements. It also helps to encourage younger people to uh, get out there and ride, uh, new people to get out there and ride. We've got uh, a couple people that have done the ride today. That's their first hundred. You know, and that's kind of neat, you know, when someone that's 45 or 50 gets into it and gets out and, you know, takes on a, a new challenge. Um, and of course, you know, it could be anything from camping or bike packing or, Riding to school. Uh, my daughter now rides to school, and we've got this little sort of riding school bus where the group, oh, bike train, the bike train, the bike train. Yeah, and so we've got a lot of things uh, to celebrate. What are uh, some of the recent milestones that that get you most excited? So I am most excited about getting more people out walking, biking outdoors. So I think what's unique here is that the road biking, mountain biking, are both really phenomenal. But building green and take routes to school is really the base level stuff, like making sure kids can get to school. And I think one thing that's cool about this event is it highlights the amazing roads, which otherwise a lot of people think about are amazing trails. But we have great roads, great trails, and increasingly great places to ride between where we work and live and play. And I think that's what makes a really cohesive bike community. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's really fun that, you know, we don't put our event out away from town. We say it's part of town. And there's a real fundamental difference, I think, when we engineer from the inside out, you know, instead of say, you know, put put it put it in a place or at a bike park or at a, you know. And, and that, I think, functions a little bit like a critical mass event almost, but with a bit of a positive flair, you know, downtown Renaissance and visit Harrisonburg is kind of like, okay, wow, we see it. It's right here. It's going right down through Court Square. Um, and it's really been, um, you know, a fun sort of passive way to create awareness for bikes and bikes on the roads. Um, and, you know, the drivers out there are all great today. Uh, you know, 99% of them have seen plenty of people on horses and buggies and, you know, uh, us riding out there daily. So the area is pretty friendly for riding and we hope to make it safer and more fun in the future. Um, so, uh, Tell me a little bit about the um, rail trail project. That's a pretty exciting future project. Boy, if, yes, so the most exciting project we have on tap right now is a 50 mile rail trail from Broadway to Front Royal using an old rail corridor from the 1850s. And there's nothing better than going through nine small towns, right through the heart of them, three different counties, connecting those communities, views the mountains, 40 plus bridges over the North Fork of the Shenandoah River, just going to be absolutely phenomenal views and access to towns, communities, and connect to parks and trails as well. So that is the marquee project happening in the valley right now. Awesome. Well, I think it's a really cool um, way to spur tourism business too. So, you know, I look forward to seeing what it's all about. And uh, But right now, I'm going to go grab a beer. Enough talk. <laughs> all right. This. Do you see that? That is goodness. We get a pale ale for me. Beer never tastes as good as when you earn it. 